Hi, welcome back once again on to Coach Wood here on YouTube. Let's take the latest news reaching us from the camp of Black Stars player. Alexander Juku has registered his first goal for Fanabachi after joining them from Strasbourg. After scoring his first goal, the player had something to say. What did he say? And also, Mohamed Kudus is set to face Thomas Partey in the upcoming round of 16 of the EFL Cup or what we call the Carabao Cup. Do you think what is going to happen between those two players, Mohamed Kudus doing the dribbling and Partey trying to stop him? We have this and also from the camp of coach James Akwesiapia, he has been appointed as the new head coach of Sudan and also is he going to continue his role as the technical director for Kumasi Bay's Asante Kotoko? I have this and many more for you. But before we delve into details of the stories, kindly do us a favor by subscribing and also hit on the bell notification. Turn on the post notification so that when we drop a new content, you'll be the first person to be notified. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Now, let's head straight into details of the stories. Alexander Juku, who plays for Turkish side and Fanabachi, yesterday scored his first goal for the club. And he also scored the first goal in their game against Istanbul Basakşehir. Yesterday, the player scored a stunning volley from a corner kick to take Fenerbahce into the lead of the game before they won the game by four goals to nil. Alexander Juku has established himself as one of the key players in the team after he joined them from Strasbourg in the French League One side. Yesterday, the player got a rating of 7.5 and he was also substituted even though he lasted only 76 minutes on the pitch. Yet, the player was able to get 7.5 ratings and his performance for the club side has been great and he's a key player in the team. And he got substituted in the 76 minutes of the game and got a rating of 7.5. Following this incredible performance, the player took to his Twitter account to write, Proud to have guided my teammates to a victory with my first goal. The series continues. So that is what he said. He said he is proud that he has guided his team for their first victory, for, for victory and his first goal for Fanabachi. And the series continues. Wish him all the best. And this is what the player had to say. Our next story also has to do with um, Mohamed Kudus and Thomas Partey. We all know that um, Partey plays for Arsenal FC and Arsenal beat uh, Brentford by goal to nil to qualify to round of 16 of the EFL Cup. Whilst um, uh, West Ham on the other side beat uh, Lincoln City to also qualify. And when the draw came, Arsenal and West Ham are going to play together. So this time it's going to be Partey against Mohamed Kudus. Mohamed Kudus will be doing the dribbling and Partey will try to stop him. And so far, Mohamed Kudus has been an incredible player for West Ham, though he has not started any match in the EPL. But for those two games, he started in the Europa League and the Carabao Cup. He won man of the match for all those two starts. Do you think it's time for Coach David Moyes to start Mohamed Kudus? in the EPL. Let me know your comments in the comment section. And this is what is going to happen. It's going to be Partey versus Mohamed Kudus. That is going to be a cracker and it will be interesting game and every Ghanaians are all talking about it. And also, our next story also has to do with um, the head coach, former Black Stars head coach. And, and currently, they are um, acting as um, the technical advisor for Kumasi Asante Kotoko has been um, appointed as the new head coach of Sudan. Though we all know that Sudan and other staff, their national team is on hold, but the head coach is expected to have his national team have their camp in uh, Saudi Arabia. So they will begin their campaign where he's, that's where he's going to do his work. And people were talking is he going to maintain his position as the acting technical director for um, Pumasi Asante Kotoko. And, Per the statement coming from the officials of Kumasi Asante Kotoko is that the head coach of Sudan is still going to maintain his position as the action um, technical director for the club. And he's also going to play two roles for Sudan national team. He's going to be the technical director and as well as the head coach of the side. And he's also contesting for the 
on uh, the upcoming GFE election as an ESCO member. So imagine if he is voted as a member of the ESCO team, then he's going to have four rules. And that's what I'm wishing for coach James Akwesia Pierre. Indeed, when he was the head coach of the Black Stars, he did a very great job. Though there were new players, there were some players we did not know. He tried to blend them and he had the best time of there. Though people were saying he was not or that exceptional, but I think James Kwesiapia was an exceptional coach in terms of talent, identification, and other stuff. So this is what I have for you for now, and I'll be out for now. Kindly do us a favor by subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be bringing you back-to-back -back details on latest news circulating in the world, or spe specifically in Ghana. So I've been your host, Coach Wood. I'll see you in the next update. Bye for now.